everybody. Pack Rat here, welcoming you to Bookshop Tales. Yeah, I would like to tell you just a little bit about myself. Mm -hmm. I am a pack rat. Yeah, and pack rats like to collect things. Mm -hmm. Maybe shiny things or, or fuzzy things or little pieces of fabric or paper. And that's what we use to make our nests. Mm -hmm. It's great. Maybe, maybe you like to collect things too. Maybe you like shiny things like me or fuzzy things. Hmm. Or maybe you collect something different. I think it's great to look around and see if you can find things you like and collect them. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a great book for you today. And I think some more shenanigans are going to go on on our show. That's right. So sit back and enjoy. See you later. Hey, everybody. It's Monkey here, welcoming you to Bookshop Tales. Yeah. It's a great day, and I'm so glad that everybody's joining us here today. Yup. Yeah. Look at all of you. Oh, that's so cool. I've got a great book for you today. It's called Blue Bison Needs a Haircut. It's written by Scott Rothman and illustrated by Pete Oswald. It's published by Random House Books. Yeah. You know, I see a resemblance there. Can't wait to read the book. Let's get started. Blue Bison liked getting haircuts because Blue Bison liked to look nice and neat for his family and his playground associates. Wow, looks pretty spiffy, huh? But one day, Blue Bison couldn't get a haircut because his barber shop was closed. Everything was closed. The ice cream shop, the supermarket, even that weird store that sold boogie boards for Baby Bison, and the bouncy house place. Why was everything closed, you ask? Yes, I want to know too. Maybe it's a holiday. And the answer is some reason. Okay. Blue Bison didn't believe it. Everything can't be closed, he said. Surely everything will open back up tomorrow and I can get a haircut. Boy, he looks kind of worried, huh? Gonna be okay, buddy. But Blue Bison was wrong. Everything was still closed the next day. And the days after that, this made Blue Bison mad. Whoa, whoa, he's really mad. He has steam coming out of his nose. I wonder if I could make steam come out of my nose. Let me try. <sighs> no, I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. So he rammed his head into a nearby rock. Oh, ow, that would hurt. Maybe not bison, but monkeys, definitely. Thud! Hey, Blue Bison's dad, Brown Bison said, that's my ram rock. Blue Bison's mom, Burgundy Bison, told them enough with all the ramming. Enough with all the ramming, she said. 
but I really need to get a haircut. No, you want to get a haircut. You don't need to. Oh man, my mom says that to me all the time. You want a whole carton full of bananas, but you don't need them. Just one. Mm -hmm. All right. I can cut your hair, said Blue Bison's little sister, Bubblegum Bison. Oh, what's nice of her to offer? The Blue Bison wasn't listening anymore because Blue Bison got an idea. Blue Bison went to his barber's home and offered him a deal. Let's check it out. If you give me a haircut super quick, I will give you these tasty and herbaceous grasses commonly found in the prairies, which we bison like to eat. Bison, said the confused barber, obviously in his underpants. <laughs> I thought you were a buffalo. Oh, is there a difference? I didn't know. Let's find out. I get that a lot, as we are both large, horned, ox-like creatures. But buffalo don't have these huge humps on their shoulders or such giant heads. They also have larger horns, though ours are much sharper. Slam! But the barber wasn't listening anymore. This made Blue Bison sad. And when Bison gets sad... They wallow, like so. Oh, he's crying really hard, poor guy. Blue Bison's family and playground associates tried to cheer him up. I think you look great, honey said his mom, it was his mom saying that. His pig friend is saying, yeah, buddy, your hair is fine. And the bird says, I know we were only associated with each other through our time in the playground, but we too enjoy the long length of your hair. Oh, she put a nest in it. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, would I like a nest in my hair? I don't think so. How about you? Would you like a bird to make a nest in your hair? Yeah. Okay, let's go on. I can cut your hair, said Bubblegum Bison, who rolled out a lawnmower she found. Blue Bison laughed at the idea of his little sister cutting his hair with the lawnmower because it was so utterly ridiculous. And just by laughing, Blue Bison felt a little bit better. Blue Bison felt so good that he went out and played tag for hours with his sister, then hide and go seek, and then dolly smash, before they both conked out for the night. Oh, he spent the whole day with his little sister. Cool. When Blue Bison woke up the next day, he realized that he didn't care what his hair looked like. There were more important things than having nice and neat looking hair. Then Blue Bison looked in the mirror. Oh, whoa. And he says, ah, holy cow, or holy bison. Who did this? Do you like your haircut, blue bison? Uh, 
Uh, oh, his little sister did it with the lawnmower. Mom and Dad looked at Blue Bison and waited for him to ram his head into something very hard. No, I don't like it, Blue Bison bellowed. I love it! Oh, that's great! I really like this story. Did you like this story? Yeah. Because I'm kind of untidy myself. And well, I kind of like me that way. Yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us today on Bookshop Tales. Please like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Thanks a lot. This is Monkey, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Moanda. Oh, wow. You speak a different language that I don't know. Well, my name's Nina. Nina. Yes, Nina. Nina. I'm just in my flower garden. Hello. Oh, Molly. Titaka. 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 Flower? Buddy, uh, our. Yes, you can say flower. Anna! Hey, Oh, yes, they are very pretty. Bao, Billy, Hada ne wa shikara yo mai jaka. Oh, my new friend speaks a different language that I don't know, but that's okay. Maybe I'll try to learn his language so that we can talk. Bao, Kaji da mama. Oh, thank you. Go. Bye, Anna. Yeah. Bye, Mama. Bye, new friend. Bye. Bye. Bye.